Happy birthday, my princess. <laughs> oh my goodness. Iruka, I wasn't expecting this. But thank you anyway. <laughs> You're welcome, my princess. I pray for more glorious years ahead of you. Amen. <laughs> Erika, I wish you much more than that. Hmm? You know, you are endowed with excellent qualities. And so I wish you success in all your thoughts and endeavors. <laughs> oh, now she's going to turn it on me and make me cry. Cry? Where is the tears? <laughs> <laughs> but you know I'm saying the truth. Okay. <laughs> okay, my princess. Now you have to come with me at once. There seems to be something big waiting for you outside the gate. Really? Wait, is it just me or there is a strong sense of surprise? Mm, if that is what you choose to call it, then it is. All right then. Oh no. What? You have to close your eyes. Close my eyes? Iruka, if I close my eyes, how am I supposed to make my way out there? You said the surprise is there, remember? That's why I am here to lead you outside. Okay. You win. <laughs> <laughs> Satisfied? Yes. So let me do this. Do, um, where, where are you? Let me lead you to your happiness. Okay. Erika, I don't want to fall. You won't. Trust I, me. <laughs> don't do this. Trust me. Erika, I'm not seeing don't anything. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Call me. Call me. Iruka, where is this surprise? Is it Lagos? You may think you've helped matters by leading the way, but seriously, playing blind, even if it's for a few minutes, it's not easy at all. Ah. You may now open your eyes, my oh, princess. Thank God. <gasps> <laughs> oh my goodness, Iruka. Who is mesmerizing me with this awesome gift? This is my choice car. I oh know. my God. I know. <laughs> I can't believe this. I mean, I Hello, Mona. Surprise and happy birthday. I can explain.
My princess, my princess, please say something. Say something, my princess. I didn't know she would do that. I was made to believe the car was a surprise gift to you by the father. How can one know that Cherishi could plan something like that? Can't you see the car was decorated? My princess, I didn't know. Please, how Iruka. could anyone believe that Cherishi can do something like that? Iruka, stop. Please, just get up, okay? I know exactly what happened. And no one is punishing you. No, my princess. See, it will be within your... You're right, if you punish me, I deserve to be punished 100%. And I'll be restless if you don't punish me, my princess. Please. Did you hear me? I said, get up. Now. I should get up. Mm. How is it that after what happened, you're still acting so calm and composed? Uh, at least yell, scream, slap, slap someone. Slap someone? You? Yes. N no, no one deserves to be slapped. Iroka. Yes, my princess. I said it's enough, okay? It's okay. Shh, stop crying. Oh. Oh. Yeah. will come back here. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? You know, sometimes I wonder if you are actually my blood. What is that supposed to mean? Young lady, when I was your age, no youngster walks into a room where there are elders and walk past without a single word of greeting. People get killed for that. <laughs> Father must greetings always be one-sided. Why does it have to be the responsibility of the young stars to greet the elder? Didn't the elder see me? Iche, can you imagine the nonsense coming out from the mouth of a princess? Certainly right. I am a princess, and I am a lady. Do you not know that when a lady walks into a room, she deserves to be greeted? So not only am I a princess, I am also a lady. Shut up, young woman. You walked into this room to meet a king seated with an elder in council? Come, were you actually expecting us to greet you? Mm -hmm. Get out! Uh, uh, um, Your Majesty, please. You need to calm down. Ichi, she has caught him on my nerves. Cherechi, get out! Get out this minute! It may have skipped your memory, but when I walked in, before you rudely interrupted, I was headed somewhere. Excuse me. Hey! Hey! It's your Zemina. Can you imagine this? It's not Guinea. Can I won't get up or how? Um, it is well, Your Majesty. It is well. Uh, just sit down, sit down. We know the children of these days. We all know them. That's how all of them behave. This is bad 
other dash. I say it's arat nonsense. Do you know exactly what I'm saying? Mona Simpson, you see, whatsoever you have just said to me now is cock and bull, and I'm not buying any of that. Daddy, please, take my word for it, okay? Chirichi is just an overdramatic person, and she was just playing a prank on me, of which I understand. And so I want the people around me to understand it too. Really? Yes. Do you understand what she did? Drove to my gate in the morning of your birthday, leered you out, and then she gave you a slap and zooms off. Who does that in the name of drama? Like I said before, Dad. What Shut up. Don't say anything because you have nothing to say. Just keep it shut. Daddy, with all due respect, Cherichi and I are grown-ups. And so whatever issue we may or may not have between us is... Uh -huh. So finally you are opening up. There is an issue. Start talking, Mona Shimso. What is the issue? Daddy, please, do not put words in my mouth. Shut up. Don't say anything again. Because now I have come to understand exactly what is going on. Say nothing. Daddy. Shut up. Oh, oh, yeah. Normally, this is not the you I know. And secondly, what has come over you? You've become a monster. And why are you fighting someone who is never fighting you? You Greetings, Onyeze. I, I don't need your greetings, as other way. What I need to know is the reason for the insulting, ridiculous, and nauseating act your daughter, your princess, came to my palace to put up this morning. Can somebody explain to me what that means? Your Majesty, where is this coming from? You mean my daughter? visited your palace this morning are you possibly claiming you are not aware of it of course with all due respect your majesty i will swear on my own offer even your own that i do not know what you are talking about are you serious now you listen you need to locate your daughter and ask her to explain why she will come to my gate today of all days, lured my daughter out and gave her a dirty slap as birthday gift. What? Chirichi slapped Munachi? Your Majesty, we are they playing around? I mean, this must be some sort of prank. Uh, do you know what? I, I, I don't have time for this nonsense. But listen to me as a boy. I am giving you just 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Nothing more than 15 minutes. For you to locate your daughter wherever she is. And ask her to bundle herself to this place and begin to explain to me why she will do what she did. In a situation where you fail to do that, and I'm going to summon her myself, and you know what that means. When I summon her myself, she has to come here and explain why she did what she did. Fifteen minutes is what I've given you, and you cannot get anything above that. Your Majesty. Onyeze. Hello? That is what Ezenu just said. Dad? Shut up. Uh -uh. And you know Ezenu. Yes. He can never say a thing like this sure. if it never happened. Sure. But how would she do that?
Yes, I gave her a dirty slap. And that's because she has earned it. Choosing to do it on her birthday is because she deserved it. Call it a birthday gift. You left this house. My palace went all the way to Enuabo, another king's palace. Gave the princess, the head princess at that, a dirty slap on her birthday. And you still have the gut to tell me that she deserves it. Are you mad? Charlie, please. You are beginning to make some noises right now. Do you know? I am talking to you about a very serious offense you committed. And you have the temerity to tell me again that I'm making a noise. And your useless ear! What is going on here? Was that a slap? Ask your husband! Your Highness! Your daughter here went to Enuabo and gave Princess Munaji a dirty slap! What? What I want to know right here and now is why? Did you give her a slap? Your husband just gave me a slap. Shouldn't you be more concerned about that? Oh, somebody should tell this young woman to stop talking to me. Else! Else what? Oh, shut up! Mom! Chirichi, I cannot believe it. You disappoint me. I can't believe you can be the stupid. Stupid? Oh, yes! Giving her a slap was a bad move. Very bad move. Hey, 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 one. Somebody should start telling me this real story behind this entire madness. I am going to. Oh, yes, eh? You really want to tell me you do not know the real reason behind the rivalry between our daughter and Ezenut? Shut up, woman! Because I do not know entirely what you're talking about. You do not know? As in you do not know? For real? Are you finally going to tell me what the bone behind this ridiculous contention is? Let me make something very clear to you. There will be no birthday celebration for you anywhere if you fail to tell me what the truth is. Daddy, you of all people should know I don't really care about birthday celebrations. It's not really my thing. Mona so you are training my patience so much and you know it. All right, Dad. I'll tell you, okay? But first things first, you don't really know? Know what? You mean all this while you haven't had a single word of it all? A single word of what? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the Iliawele ritual, of course. Iliawele ritual? The Iliawele ritual, Daddy. How? You know the ritual wherein the head princess of Abo will stand amongst selected maidens to pray for the peace, progress and prosperity of the men of the Abo dynasty? That's Iliawele festival. Shut up, woman. I am a king of Abo, and I know everything about the Ilawele ritual. What I don't understand is why that would be causing a problem between you and Princess Monachi. Monachi, so you have not told me the reason for the slap. Why did she slap you? Dad. As you know, the Ilia Wili festival is the once in a while ritual. I mean, once in every 20 years to be precise. No princess can perform the ritual twice. I know. And that is because the, the, the princess must be young. Must be a virgin to stand the chance of leading that prayer. I don't understand. Why has that become an issue now? I don't know why this thing is becoming so difficult for you to understand. Your daughter here and Ezeno's daughter are of the same age. And both of them are princesses of a Bo dynasty. Only one gets to lead the prayers. 
What is confusing them? Yes. The one to lead the prayer is the head princess of Abba. Exactly, Daddy. Cherechuku, Mom. You are a princess. That is right. But the princess of Adagbabo. Mona Shimso. Daddy. You are the princess of Enuabo. You're right about that, Dad. So, can you tell me the reason for this strife? Onyeze, listen. I want you to understand this. Digest it. If Princess Mona gets to perform the ritual, our daughter here will have to wait for the next 20 years before she gets the chance to perform the said ritual. <laughs> and we both know that by then she would have been married. Mm. My God. What are you insinuating? I mean, what are both of you insinuating? We all know that the Abbott dynasty is made up of two towns linked to one ancestor. Mm. Good. One is any. And the other, Adabe. <laughs> we know that already is not an issue. So relax. Lola, do you mean to tell me you are not aware that Inuabo is superior to our Adagbabo in the genealogy of our ancestral heritage? Do you? <laughs> now, Mona Chinsu, you need to understand this. Even the king of Adagbabo pays homage to me. For my forefathers and now I are the people, the only people allowed to minister on the central of four of our board dynasty, which is Dinjikabo. Daddy, the issue here is not the offer, but the exuberance of young people. Listen, Munashim, so you are the princess of Enua Bokenda. I know. Does it mean you do not understand who you represent in the configuration of our board dynasty? By the method of our ancestors as handed down, the princess of Enuabo remains the head princess of the Abo dynasty. You may be right, but not anymore. <laughs> I, I don't think I heard that. Oh yes, you heard me, <laughs> loud and clear. Onyeze, the stupid tradition you just explained has been there simply because Enuabo has always superseded Adababo in terms of resources and power. But not anymore. Things have changed. Adababo has developed so much to the extent it stands toe to toe with Enuabo. That's right. In terms of developments and achievements. Besides, there's never been a time where the two kingdoms had two princesses of the same age bracket during the Ileawili festival ritual <laughs> believe me this is the first time it's happening we have read through the history and we know it never happened all we are asking is for a change that's all what do you both 
mean by change? Okay, let me explain this to you, Daddy. Princess Cherichi wants to be the head princess who will perform the Ilawili ritual. What? That is preposterous. That is outlandish nonsense. Hold on. Is her father aware of this? I mean, is he in support? <sighs> Onyeze, we've been on this for some time now. And believe me, we've got everything planned out. From the machinery we have in motion, I strongly believe that we will succeed. That's right. All I need from you is your support. That's all. Me support you over my dead body. Ngana Kwesile. My wife and queen of Adababo listen and listen attentively. Jerry Chuku, you degenerate. Listen carefully to Princess Muna of Inuabo, is the head princess of. A board dynasty, which means she alone can perform or lead the Lawele ritual. Onyeze, do not overrule on this yet. I strongly believe. Shut your mouth, woman. What you both desire is an abomination. And in the modern world, it is called treason. Oh, please. Daddy, quit being dramatic, all right? Because you're starting to read wild meanings into this affair. What's going on is a battle between two princesses. What you should do is back the fuck off and allow the two ladies engage in it fully. That way, we get to find out who it is that is really superior in every sense of the word. I, I, I lack words. I could say I'm disappointed in you today. Mm. But that will be hypocritical. Mm -hmm. A series and series of disappointments is what you've cost me since you were born. Your Majesty, shut up! Ngalakwesili, I am thoroughly disappointed in you. I wonder when it has become a crime for a mother to want the best for her daughter. What are you doing? Putting an end to all this entire madness. To what do I owe this call? My sincerest apologies, Your Majesty. I am pleading on behalf of my daughter. She has committed this massive blunder. Please, Onyeze, forgive her. I want you to see it as the act of a child. You really think so? Yes, I know so. Your Majesty, I also need to inform you that my daughter is on her way right now to see you. Oh, what? What is he saying? To apologize to you and uh, Princess Monachi for disrespecting her on a day like this. Oh, oh, daddy. Well, if your daughter is here, if your daughter is coming here, 
to apologize to my daughter for the rubbish she did. Then your own apology is accepted. Oh, yes, 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 Onyezi. Yes. She's on her way. Oh, thank you very much for accepting my apology. <laughs> Daddy, what was that? Dad? Defy me and live to regret it. Are you kidding me? Are, are you, is he fucking kidding me, Mom? Do something, Mom! Have you seen the reason I asked you to always get a grip on your emotions? You shouldn't have given that Idiot has slap! Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Do something! You will have to pay for it! By humiliating myself, Mom? Mommy! Do you really want to risk disobeying your father? Mommy, come back! You have to do something about this! Do something! You can't walk away! Oh, bloody hell! Daddy, sincerely, I don't care about any apology. I just want Cherichi to leave me alone. Dad, I want my peace. Mona Jimzo, you are the princess of Enuabo Kingdom. And today you were disrespected by someone who is not qualified to disrespect you. An apology must happen, and that apology must happen today. That is the only way peace can reign. Yes, Dad, you just said it. I was the one who was disrespected, right? So I feel I should be allowed to decide what happens to the offender. Unfortunately for you, Mona Shimson, you have no say in this at all. You are still my daughter who lives under my roof. And your security, physically and otherwise, is my responsibility. I wouldn't want to discuss this with anybody anymore. Uh This is not to you and no and no Secondly, what has come over you? You've become a monster and why are you fighting someone who is never fighting you? Your attitude got me asking questions. What happened to you, girl? Sitting well, you started and you have no remorse. Let go your pride and let things flow. Obsession. Or maybe she have lost it oh. Or could this be my man? Cause baby girl, you are losing it Could this be obsession? Or maybe she have lost it hey. Or maybe this is my You are standing before a king and I will advise you to show some respect. Well, I'm here to apologize, aren't I? I apologize, Your Majesty. I apologize, Mona. Accepted. Good. Just so you know, I'm only apologizing for slapping you. As for my desire to become the head princess, that is my right. And I am going to exercise it. You got that? You will exercise it. Should I understand that to mean that you, the princess of Adababo, has come to the royal family of Enuabo Kingdom to declare war? Oh, oh, oh. Your Majesty, with all due respect, if you are going to sit there and misconstrue my statement as a declaration of war, then so be it. Bring on everything you've got in your armory. 
and I will match you squarely. Have a good day, royal household of Apple. Daddy, is that a smile on your face? You know, the line between life and death is so tiny, sometimes even invisible. That some people wander from life to death without even knowing it. Let go your pride and let things flow. Hey, could this be obsession? obsession. Or maybe she have lost it. Or could this be madness? Obsession. Oh, maybe she have lost it. Hey, or maybe this is madness. Cause baby girl, you are losing me. Normally, this is not to you and no. And secondly, what has come over you? You've become a monster, and why are you fighting so much? I will end it all for your daughter today. I will start by dismembering her bit by bit. Then I will gather the pieces. When I am confirmed that she's dead, I will gather them into a heap and set it ablaze. If you will calm down and tell me what she did again, maybe I will know where I stand. Ngalabosini. What? You will know where you stand? Let me ask you, who is your husband? You are my husband, of course. And why do you have to doubt on whose side to stand? Excuse me, Chirichi is also my daughter, which is why I have every right to choose for her. Now, if you will calm down and tell me what she did. Okay. All right. Listen to this. Dear Ezadabwe, I was under the impression that your daughter will apologize to mine. Instead, she came here and made a pledge of war against the royal family of Inuabo Kingdom. I am wondering, when did the people of Apo start calling the Ashi out for war? I will wait for your voice note. Did you hear that? Did you? Now, do you still doubt on whose side to stand in this case? She has my full support. Okay, what? What is it? What? What do you want to do? Calm down, everyone. Please, calm down. This is a trying moment for this family. <laughs> Shh, stop. I'm going to solve this problem once and for all. Chiriji. Daddy, I don't want things to get out of hand. I am willing to relinquish my right as head princess if that is what it will cost. Dad, you and Eza that we are practically brothers. Don't let this come between the two of you, please. Listen, listen. Had it been Cherishi asked nicely, I am sure somehow we would have found a way around this. But she decided to do it her way by coming to my place to declare war on my daughter. I don't want to get involved. I am simply going to allow the powers of Abo to settle this once and for all. Daddy, okay, I may not understand what you mean by allowing the powers of Abo to settle anything, but I know it's not something good for Cherichi. Please, Dad, please, let it go, please. It cannot go. 
Unfortunately, it cannot. Listen, there is nobody who will ever declare war on my daughter and go ahead and enjoy free ride. It is not possible. Inside that house where a masquerade is singing, a human being is there. They will find out. When you touch the tail of the tiger, you wanna start to work. Why can't this useless Chirichi know when to stop? You know what it means? Do you know the repercussion of what your daughter has done? Your daughter declared war on Enlabo. That useless daughter of yours walked right into the palace of Ezenu. Ezenu Abo. One who the dreaded of men dread. Stared him right on his face and declared war on him. War! I hope you understand what that means. Are you telling me or you're trying to fight me? Calm down. Anyways, it is out of youthful exuberance. Ezeenu is an intelligent man and I'm sure he will understand. And he has refused to do that. And I'm certain he will never. Your daughter is cursed. So, if she meets her sudden death out of her own stupidity, so be it. I reject it. I reject it. Everyone be like, Inuabo, Inuabo, all the time as if it's the greatest kingdom on earth. What's that? If my daughter has declared war on them, so be it. We have no other option than to fight the war. Rubbish. Greetings, Your Majesty. To what do I owe this visit? Your Majesty, I've been calling you since yesterday. Even this morning, I've given you six missed calls. And you never picked any of them. That has not answered my question. To what do I owe this visit? Can't you at least greet me properly? <laughs> As kings, then offer me a seat before any other thing. Okay then. Well, uh, you can sit down. Beautiful. Is in. Is in. Is in. You see, Abu. At least now I I know I'm welcomed. What do you want? Your Majesty, forgiveness. Forgiveness is the word that all this entire madness has ignored. For who do you want this forgiveness? Is it for yourself? Not at all. For my daughter. It is not going to happen. Is it not? Don't forget that you are the head king of the Abbot dynasty. And I value our relationship so much. Please. Considering the fact that we are kings from the same dynasty, you will do that you can. 
let me just make it clear immediately that the feeling is is reciprocated. Only yesterday, the governor called me with the question that I should submit names of credible kings that should be part of the enlarged security meeting he wants to call in the state involving kings and the heads of securities of different kingdoms. Your name was the very first name I wrote in the list I already sent to the governor. That alone should tell you something. Oh, thank you very much, Onyeze. I am honored. But please, always remember that I can never, ever stand against you in any way. Please. Yes. You know, now that we know that there is nothing wrong in our relationship, now that we know that uh, we still have our friendship intact, can you please leave everything concerning your daughter on one side and we can discuss something else? Is it possible? Mm. Your Majesty, I don't think it's possible. Makanana na rap isiaka abodiam. Your Majesty, I took the liberty of coming here to plead with you. Biko, Fukene, understand that my daughter is nothing but a child. She's still a child. Forgive all her atrocious acts. Please. I know that sooner than later, she will come to realize the foolishness of her actions and, and, and come back to her senses. I am not in the mood for this baseless summer. Please. I am not prepared to let her off the hook. The ancient hook where I already left that insult. I am not. What? Do you know what? Do you know what? Listen, please. I don't want us to drag this. We are friends, best of friends, and there is nothing wrong with our relationship. Your daughter we are talking about is an adult and who must be allowed to fix the responsibility of her actions and her inactions. So I don't think it is necessary for you to belittle yourself coming here to plead on behalf of a woman who has not even shown remorse of the things she did. So I'm, I'm, I'm advising you to go back to your kingdom and they spend this energy in trying to get your daughter to do what she has got to do. And on that note, this meeting has ended. Can you please tell me what you want to drink, whether you want to drink whiskey, brandy, or rum, or anything. Just mention it and it will be provided. As in, I thank you very much for offering to host me, but um, before then, I'll go home first and um, put my daughter all right. Maybe after that, I'll come back for the feast. Hmm? You are indeed a wise man. I will take my leave. Go in peace. Is in. Uh... Cherechi, you are dreaming. Oh, I said you were dreaming. Mommy. Oh, dear God. Was that you all along? No, my ghost. Get up. Oh, 
we went like we have. Oh, dear God, you just interrupted my engagement process. And no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Relax. What is it? What do you want? You have a visitor. A boy? No, come on, Tom. Gosh, I was having a good time. I need to dress you well. Who is it? The very last person you you expect to see in this house today. Is it him? Will? Oh, come on. Go see for yourself. was right. You are most certainly the last person I expected to see in my palace. I come in peace. If you say so, sit. Thank you. Chochi, please. You have to come back to my father and apologize. We can come to an agreement between us. <laughs> that will never happen. We grew up together. We were best of friends. Sisters. Please, stop this madness. Wow. So now you think I'm mad. I didn't say that, no. I was just trying to make you understand that. You Gosh, need police. Enough with the hypocrisy. We both know you're not here to make peace. You are here to secure your throne. You want to be the head princess of Abo Dynasty. Chirichi, this isn't what you and I want. Well, I know what I want and I get what I want by all means necessary. Girl, please. Calm yourself and listen to me. I want to listen to you. I do not want to listen to you. And Monachi, if indeed I'm your sister like you claim, you should step down for me. How about that? Believe me, if it was the right thing to do, I'll do that. Mm. But the simple truth is, you can never be the head princess of our board dynasty. It has never been done before, and it can never happen. Says who? You? Listen, girl. This isn't going to end well for you. And if you succeed in dragging me into a fight, it's not going to end well for both of us. And so be it. If I'm not going to be the head princess of our dynasty, nobody will. Have a good day, Princess Mona. Chirichi? Could this be obsession? Or oh, maybe she have lost day. Or maybe this is madness Cause baby girl, you are losing me Normally, this is not the you I know and know What? I hope you didn't touch her <sighs> Relax mommy, I didn't hit the bitch Hmm? I didn't hit her No! Better So why was she here? Peace she said. I don't understand. How do you mean peace? The hypocrite says that it's not possible for me to become the head princess. And so she came to cajole me into backing down. Mm -hmm. And you still see that as peace talk? <laughs> Mommy, I got this. I left her disappointed. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I always know that Mona is a scheming little old bitch. I that. know that. Mm -hmm. Well, I won't let her win. And I made that clear. Oh, that's my girl. 
If there is anyone to perform at the Lenwale Festival, that person is going to be me. Exactly! That's it! Mm -hmm. I want you to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. All of them should just sit back and watch me become what I want to become. <laughs> Excuse me, mommy, I got things to do. All right. I see. You've heard. I mean, the news is everywhere. And you did nothing? Nothing. What were you expecting me to do? Start a fight? At least talk to me. <sighs> I am your friend. I, mean, I tried calling you yesterday. Everyone else did. Because it was quite strange how you went silent on a wall the day that was supposed to be your birthday. And what did we get? What did we get? Nothing. Eberi, please, please stop, okay? I know how you react whenever you're angry. And I'm so not ready for that right now. Oh, please, don't try to change the subjects. Do not try to change the subjects. Someone who is not close to being your class in any way walked down to your house, left her land, to our land, and gave you a dirty slap on your pet day. And I wasn't told? Oh, Princess Monichi, okay. you cannot do this. Okay. okay, girl, listen to me. I need to correct an impression, all right? Cherichi is not below me in any way. I am just me. And as a matter of fact, I do not see myself above anyone. I am not talking about your interpretation to things of life. Uh, well, I am talking reality here. Sorry to disappoint you, girlfriend. I have already forgotten about that. Wow! <sighs> and that must be the reason you woke up from your royal bed this morning. Went to the land of the same person who slapped you on your birthday. Did you kill her? Because that is the only reason I'll be happy. Did you kill her? No, I didn't. I am not a murderer. I think... I will do it myself. Oh, what a great satisfaction I'll get when I finally see her. Enough. I said enough. I will listen to you. Good. But I have made my points. Yes. Darling, everyone must not be mad at the same time. I mean, I cannot decide to go crazy because she went mad. Someone must be cool-headed. And that person had to be the classless Shereshi. Well, I will inform you as the executive head of the Maiden Association of our land that I have declared war on the maidens of their land. Yes. Ebele, I'm not sure I heard that. Do not try to change or, or stop this war. Because the decision wasn't mine alone. This decision was unanimous. Ebele, you need to clarify this issue properly. When you say war, what do you mean? Nena! Greetings to you. How are you? I am fine. As you can see. don't look good. Really? Especially your face. My face? It looks exceptionally beautiful today. <laughs> so smooth. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I always have a smooth and beautiful face. I just, I just want to feel it with my hands. You want to feel my face? Yes. You want to feel it? Yes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're wondering why I did that? Go back home and ask your princess why.
The war has already begun as we speak. He who gathers an ant infested firewood invites lizards to his home. When Cherishi left her kingdom down here to slap him, we saw that as an act of war and we are simply retaliating. My goodness, mm -hmm. you people are insane. How do you do that without the courtesy of seeking my consent? Consent? Oh, <gasps> consent. The fool who slapped you did not seek anyone's consent before she did what she did. Her slap. Oh, that slap triggered a war of slaps and it will not end until we are satisfied. Barry, Barry. I know how serious you are about this, okay? But I still know you are decent enough to listen to the voice of reason, okay? Please, hear me on this. Oh. I am going to listen to you, my princess. But not until we are done. We are not done yet. When you touch the tail of a tiger, you wanna start to work. Hey, what of slap in the kingdom? What of slap in the kingdom? Oh, who started this madness? Millicent, where have you been? How are you? Why did you slap me? Go back to Adababo. Visit your classless princess and ask her why she slapped our princess. You will regret this rubbish you just did. Slapping me over something I know nothing about. You know it yourself that this is going to escalate. You have the power to stop this. So please, stop it. Princess Cherichi fetched ant infested firewood. She's the reason there are so many lizards everywhere. Yes. Abele, this is no longer funny. You are going to create an unnecessary enmity between our kingdoms. This is going to affect our maidens in future. And as the leader of the maidens, I am sure you don't want this to happen. And the classless Cherichi should have thought of that before she came here to slap you. I am sure she heard we, we talked you out from trying to relinquish your rights to her. And she decided to come visit with a slap. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have forgiven her already. So I don't know why you have to trigger the maidens into an unnecessary war of slaps. Excuse me. And where are you going? To talk to my father, of course. I am going to ask him to put an end to this so-called war of slaps. Hey, you have to stop right there. So you will not end up making a mockery of yourself and the position you hold in this kingdom. Excuse me. The war of slap was an unanimous decision made by all the maidens. We did not look for trouble. In fact, Princess Cherichi disturbed our peace. Do you think the king, your father, can stop this war without some sort of atonement from their people, if not from the princess? To you, our land has never given birth to anything weak. We are maidens of this land. We are not cowards. We are here to remedy this nonsense and we will. What is the matter, Azongene? I heard you yelling all the way from my room. I will tell you what the problem is. But first, allow me to demonstrate a little. Ah! 
Are you mad? Look at me. Look at me. The slap you took to Enoabo was returned to me and I decided to bring it back to you. Before I find a gun and shoot you in your brains. Tell me what this is about. <sighs> you idiot! You went to Enoabo to slap Princess Munachi, didn't you? Yes, I gave her a slap. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What is it? Because of this singular act, you have become the most foolish maiden in this community. Yes! What? I warn you for the last time. Make your goddamn point, girl. Oh, you are so dumb. Cherechi, I warned you to let go of the desire to become head princess. I specifically told you that you cannot, you cannot rid a princess of her birthright. And I specifically told you that I have the same rights as she does, didn't I? Let me remind you, this same princess, your father pays homage to her father. And I recall telling you that my father is a weakling. One that would disrespect himself with pleasure by going to another king. Didn't I? <laughs> Bravo. In a bid to exercise your rights, you have become the most hated person in the whole community. They hate you. They want your head on a platter. They hit me now. <laughs> this girl is dumb. Have you not been listening to anything I said? The maidens of our community hate you. The maidens of Enuabo hate you. The maidens that respect you, that adore you in this community, want your blood. They want your head, Cherechi. <laughs> this girl is dumb. Cherechi. The slap you took to Enuabo has been returned to us a thousand fold. Every maiden of this community is a beneficiary. The maidens of Enuabo hate your gods. The maidens of our community hate your gods. They want your blood and they want your head on a platter. I warned you, Cherechi, I warned you. You're so full of yourself, so arrogant. Only think about yourself. Hey, what of slap in the kingdom? What of slap in the kingdom? Oh, who started this madness? Hey, and who can stop this madness? No, but do not worry when two elephants fight. Big rush is so Get out. fast. Big rush is so fast. Everyone is suffering. The arrogance of an arrogant princess. Oh. When you slap a royalty, you were asking for a word. Well, this is so unexpected. Call it off. Excuse me? Don't pretend you don't know what I am talking about, please. <laughs> Seriously, girl, I know nothing of what you're saying. Is that how you want to play it? Listen, Cherichi, if you don't tell me why you're calling me, I'm going to drop this call. Call off the damn war, bitch. War? <laughs> girl, if I recall, you walked into my palace and declared war on my family. How then are you calling me to put an end to the war you started? Are you trying to mock me? Why would I do that? Your actions already took care of that. <sighs> this is not going to end well for you. You know that, right? <laughs> Sweetheart. Considering the fact that I haven't given anyone a slap in the past few days, I have much better hope than you.
You, on the other hand, the monster you bred will soon eat you up. You'll regret this. <laughs> he who has a clear conscience has no regret. This is not over. Mm. Sweetheart, the war you declared just started. Nothing is over. Now, if you don't have better things to say, I'd like to go back to what I love doing most. Enjoying my peace. I'll get you. Monachi, I will get you. <laughs> Bye, darling. Stupid bitch. Hey, what up, I'll kill you, Monachi. Oh boy, you call my very good friend. My friend, the king. The international man of Edward Bokindo. Huh? When, when, when did he come back from the United States? Um, actually two days ago, but I've been in Lagos. I just got here a few minutes ago. Really? Yeah. And you decided to grace me with your very outstanding presence. <laughs> I am happy. Please, sit down. Please sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I would have uh, loved to say I feel the same way too, but I'll be lying. I don't understand. Is everything all right? I should be asking you that. Since you seem to be in your palace, enjoying yourself while the maidens are out there slapping one another. I don't understand what you are saying. What are you talking about? Are you not aware that any time a maiden from Adababo comes, steps a foot into our land, she's greeted with a slap? Are you serious? I'm not aware of that. Now that you know, what are you going to do about it? Well, oh boy, I'm going to give you a very direct answer. I will do nothing. Because I see nothing wrong in what is going on right now. What? Listen, oh boy, Yoko. Princess Shereshi of Adababo is the person who started all these problems. She came to my palace and declared war on my family. She is simply getting what she deserves. So it is true. She actually came here and slapped our princess. A slap that has not given birth to a thousand more slaps. <laughs> ah. She's only a baby. She's just a small girl. Please. Hmm? You could condole her stupidity. Please. Put an end to this. <laughs> you know I could. But I won't. Listen, Oboyoko, experience, they say, is the best teacher. And you see that Princess Cherishi, there is a lesson that she must have to be taught. And she has to learn that lesson the hard way. That's a problem which you have already identified. And if there is anybody who is going to solve that problem, she has to be the one, not me. As long as she has refused to do what she has to do, I wouldn't want anybody to even discuss this topic with me. Oh boy, you come my good friend. I know. You must have missed our palm wine. Our we know about palm wine. And I, I should be getting you some to enjoy yourself because I have it in the palace. That is what we should be doing. And not discussing maidens that are trying to correct one another. Mm. Let's have the palm wine, please. <laughs> Let's have the palm wine. <laughs> I also got you some goodies. Huh? I trust you. They will bring it in later. I trust you. <laughs> I want you to put an end to this madness right now. Put an end to what madness? Onyeze, do not pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. The truth is that I don't care. Actually, I don't care. If you cannot call your daughter to order, 
Then, be ready to live in this order. The choice is yours. Why are you such a weakling? Why? What did you just call me? Oh, you heard me! Get out! Excuse me? Ngara Kwesli, do you want me to do what both of us will regret? Get out of my space before I have your head on this screen. Your Majesty! What has come over this woman? My dear, this is just like Pakistan and Israel. That's our stupid Princess Cherichi being Pakistan and Enuabo being Israel. Just one stupid move. Because of one uncalculated mistake. See how she has brought down the wrath of God on us all. To tell you the truth, Ada. The only thing I could think of when she slapped me was to retaliate. Retaliate? Of course! Good God, Kirika, have you lost your mind? I just described our kingdom as Palestine and Enuabo as Israel. And you're talking about revenge? You have not won this war. You want to start another one. Please think of something. Well, hold on. Come to think of it. Why are we the ones paying for her mistakes? I don't know. I mean, did we ever ask this princess to slap anyone? No. Did we slap anyone? Not at all. Exactly the reason I am wondering why we are the ones paying for our mistakes. Have you not heard the saying that in war, only the innocent suffers? And that is exactly what we are going through right now. <laughs> Please, honestly, I feel like killing that girl. I feel like grabbing her by her neck and tearing her into pieces. And the only thing I can wish her is death. If she dies, I will drink her blood. Not just you alone, yeah. me too. Yeah. Azongi. Azongine! What is it? Ah. Why are you rushing to like, you, you want to kill somebody? Oh, I want to kill her so bad. But if I commit murder, I'll be held responsible. So please allow me to quietly go inside. Uh, uh, please come, before you go in, we have been waiting for you here. Uh, where are you coming from? What happened? Palace. What? Why? I went to slap that stupid princess. Eh? Eh? No, no, no. You did not do that. Did you just. Oh my god. Can you. Did she slap the princess? Why are you asking? You and I know, Azongene. If she opens her mouth to tell you I slapped her. Ne. Azongene mapoyan choma wa yanti. Eh, whoa. Chibo. Ada, you see this singular information now? Ah, I can breathe well. This information just made my day. I feel good. Well, it's this strange. It made my day as well. Mwa <laughs> Ma 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 my God. In fact. <laughs> Since I'm still not happy. I feel like grabbing that girl by her neck no and tearing her. As on Guinea has settled it. Omenebe, that you are my sister will not be remembered when you finally push me to the wall. Be very careful, else I'll end your life. And I will end you first. Why are you such a monster? The kind of wants to eat off your brains. Sometimes I wonder if really you and I are from the same womb. And I wonder sometimes if you are God's creation. Well, I will not stoop so low to exchange words with you. I hate the fact that you exist. What do you want? Answers! I want to know why maidens are slapping themselves everywhere in this kingdom. And some bird told me that you have a hand in it. Start explaining. Is that why you are yelling my name like a mad dog? Oh my God, I made a vow never to hit a woman, but if you say one more word that will offend me, I will break that vow. First of all, I do not see you as a man. And secondly, maidens in this land do not involve themselves in petty fights. What you saw out there 
It's a mere retaliation to what one of them did to our own. Yes, so take a chill pill. I don't understand. What do you mean one of your own? Princess Cherichi visited our land and slapped our princess. What? On a day that was her birthday. <sighs> Wait a minute. When was her birthday? Is that all you got from what I just said? Oh my brother, is it possible for one to ask you a question and then you give an answer? To cut it short, Princess Cherich, she wanted to assume the position of the head princess in Abbot dynasty. But Princess Munachi, who was already the head princess, found it impossible to let go of her position to her. Hence, she visited with a slap as a gift on her birthday. I don't understand. This princess, Jiri, she, she mad or something. Are you asking that? Of course she is mad. Notwithstanding, this whole slap madness thing has got to stop. Alright? We have foreign investors, visitors that come to our kingdom on a daily basis. They can afford to see stupid maidens slapping themselves everywhere in the kingdom. It doesn't make sense. I hope you're not going after Munachi. I hope you're not going to see her because it will be a waste of time. She's not even in support of this whole madness. She's not? No. If not for tradition, Princess Munachi would have given her position as a head princess to Princess Cherichi on a platter of gold. Even at that, Cherichi did not understand, hence she came with the slap. Do you know that even after all these things, Monachi did not do nothing? Imagine! So we took it upon ourselves to clear things. Well, I stand on the part of Monachi. This whole slap madness has got to stop today. No, brother. This decision was an unanimous decision and there is nothing you, my darling brother, and I can do about it. Wow, who knew that the simple act of executing a slap could be such an exercise? Hey! I think I am feeling pain somewhere. Yet, here we are. Trying to find another Adabwe uh, Abomedin to so practice our newfound exercise. You know, I keep thinking that we have actually gone too far with this whole thing. Considering the fact that the princess is not in support of it, we know how she is. Yes, we all know how she is. Which is why we believe she has done nothing to deserve that slap she got. Of all the people to slap, Princess Munachi. Really? Well, you're right. And that is the part that annoys me the most. Even my parents say that Princess Munachi is the most humble princess Enuabo has ever had. Maybe that is the problem here. Munachi is far too humble for herself. Come on, Ijoma. That is not even a thing. We all know that there is no such thing as being too humble. And it is either a person is humble or she is not. Or are you trying to tell me that uh, Princess Cherishi is far too rude for herself? No, no, no. I will simply say that she is far too rude for a human. God, that girl is an animal. Which is why we are paying her back in her own coin. No matter the amount of power a person wields in life, he or she has to know that it is possible to commit a crime and get punished for it. Eh? But still, is that the example we are setting for our younger sisters? Making them believe that revenge is sometimes the best answer for an offense. No! We are simply teaching them not to be cowards. Eh? Come, Ijoma. You are beginning to... Sometimes you, be, you, you behave like the princess. And you are beginning to annoy me. <laughs> Why this trip down consciously? Eh? I am going to look for another that we are bombing to slap. What's your problem? Ah? Uh -huh. <laughs> If being humble means I can get an entire clan to declare war on my behalf without raising a finger, 
Then may humility be my foot. Your Majesty, with all due respect, this has got to stop. I mean, it doesn't make sense at all. You're right, son. Thank you for being the son of your father. Thanks for the compliment, Your Majesty, but in all honesty, I still do not understand what you mean. Diplomacy. Diplomacy, son? Considering what my daughter did, any other person would have stormed in here, spewing fire. You did not. Instead, you came in here, gave me the respect I deserve as a king, and tendered your opinion. That is maturity. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much too, Your Majesty. You're welcome. I have heard my people's side of the story. And as one of my father's business partners, I have decided to come here to hear from the opposing side too. My son. The truth is that there is nothing Nothing I can do to stop what is happening. I beg your pardon, sir. Son, my daughter, Jerichi, is a loose cannon. A loose cannon I mismanaged since she was young. Now she has exploded everywhere. And the situation is no longer in my hand. Wait a minute, Your Majesty. Are you saying that you cannot get her to end this war? Ijena, my son. For that to happen, my daughter, Cherechuku, has to go back to Enuabo and apologize to Princess Monachi. But that she has vehemently refused to do. Princess. Hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi. 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 I am. You know I am a princess, and it will be right if you get on your feet and greet me appropriately. My God! Oh, uh, please, uh, please, my son, forgive her. It's all right, Your Majesty. Greetings, Princess. Greetings? Satisfied? N not so much, no. The way it's done, a gentleman takes the lady's hand in a handshake and kisses. My God! And what if I refuse? Would that... Would that be a problem? That would make me sad. This is ridiculous! Your Majesty, 
please. Allow me. Satisfied? Absolutely. The answer is yes. I know why you're here. The answer is yes. Yes. Of course yes. Aren't you here to ask for my hand in marriage? I forgive you though for speaking to my father before me, but nonetheless, the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. That is not the reason I'm here. And even if it were, all I have seen is enough for me to take my leave. Your Majesty. I think I should be on my way now. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, my regards to your father. He would hear. Yeah. Excuse me, princess. Here to ask for your hand in marriage? No. <laughs> Look here, my daughter. Even I, your father, rather die than get married to a woman like you. Stupid idiot. Look at what you drink to yourself! Nonsense! I throw your pride and let things flow. Hey, could this be your session? Or maybe she had lost it. Or could this be my man? Because, baby girl, you are losing me. Could this be your session? Maybe she have lost a wow, wow, wow. Look at that. If he didn't come to ask for my hand in marriage, then surely he came to check me out. <laughs> and I am pretty sure he liked what he's saying. He come back. <laughs> he come back. Let me say it clearly to you, Father. The answer is no. Why are you so stubborn? Stubborn? I think you should rephrase that statement, Father. Strong willed. I am strong willed. And the war of slabs will not come to an end because obviously it is achieving its desired results. Even at the detriment of your own father's business. Dad, why are you acting as though your business is some sort of roadsided store or kiosk? I mean, father, you own a multi-millionaire wine production company. So a mere slab or war of slabs will not stop a single percentage of your income. I have business partners and clients visiting this village. 
Are you hearing me? Oh, please, Father. You want to destroy my image? Father, you're a public figure, and you can withstand or handle whatever is being thrown to you. Ah. Omelebele, why are you so heartless? Daddy, Daddy, look, Munachi is not just my friend. She is my sister, and obviously whoever messes with her, messes with me. This war of slap will not come to an end, except the king of their land, who is also your friend and a business partner, advises his daughter to come and apologize to all the maidens in this land. Until then, it will not come to an end. Slap a royalty. You were asking for a while. When you touch the tail of a tiger, you wanna start to work. Hey, what of slap in the kingdom? My princess, how may she help you? You you have a basic tool. Not again. Why won't they allow me to, to be? Huh? <laughs> well, this one is an eye candy. Excuse me? He's very handsome. How? Oh, really? And that is my business? He is your visitor. You say so. Ah. My princess. Muka, what is it? Are you going to meet him dressed like this? <laughs> First off, what I'm wearing is pretty decent. Okay? And secondly, I wasn't expecting any visitor. You don't even have your crown or makeup on. Move. Out of my way. Now! Yes, my princess. Thank you. Do you call me your sister? You need to take my advice. Greetings. Oh. Mona, you are here. Daddy? We have a visitor. I can see that already. Which is my princess. <laughs> this is quite a surprise. <laughs> Greetings, my princess. Greetings. Yes. Stop the formalities. <laughs> we practically grew up together. I know. Listen. Thank you. <laughs> well, in general, it's just coming back from Adababa. Oh. You see, he is of the opinion that you can use your influence to stop the war of slaps. Yeah, but I told him it's not possible. Daddy, please. Hey, what a place. Don't even go there. This is an unanimous decision made by the maidens of Enuabo, and there is nothing you can do as an individual. That's it. You see, he's in support of the war of slaps. Hmm? Obviously. I don't understand. What are you trying to insinuate that I am a bad king or what? Your Majesty, I am not saying that. It's just that I. Anyway. I tried to talk your sister out of it as an executive member, but she won't bend. She wouldn't bend because the sister knows exactly what she's doing. There is no individual who can just come here, slap my daughter and get away with it. Daddy, that's actually in the past. I mean, you have the power to put an end to this war of slap, so please, end it. That is what you think. Unfortunately, I will not. My bad. What do I offer you? Food? I don't think that would be necessary. I think I'm fine. No, 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 no. You are not fine. You are in my house and you have to eat something. Unless your majesty pleases. <laughs> okay, we're yet to have lunch, so I'll go set the dining. It's alright. That's Excuse a very me. beautiful idea. <laughs> yeah, a beautiful idea. I am so sorry he eats a lot of people like the father. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your majesty. 
You are one of my father's close business associates. Remember, we have foreign investors, visitors who come into our kingdom on a daily basis. We welcome foreign investors, foreign visitors into our kingdom. How does it look when they walk around town and they see maidens slapping themselves here and there? It doesn't make well, sense. Well, I equally need to remind you that Abu Dynasty is a very wonderful place. There are so many beautiful places that will keep the eyes of the visitors busy that they will not even have the time to notice the distraction of some maidens here and there who are setting the records straight. That's exactly what those maidens are doing. They are setting the records straight. What do you mean you're getting married? I am getting married. Did anyone propose to you? Ah. He came by the house today and saw daddy. Oh. Someone came to ask your father for your hand in marriage. <laughs> I won't put it that way, but he came to check me out. Check you out. There's one. <laughs> Mommy. Ijenu, the son of Oba Oyoko of Inuabo, was here today. What? Yes! <laughs> I'm so excited. I've seen this in my dream. He proposed to me in my dream. I see. Oof, mommy, he is the man for me. I know because him coming to the house today is proof of the fact that he wants to be. My husband. Did he say anything to you? He didn't really, but mommy, I saw him. He was looking at me with desire, written all over his face. I see. Whoosh. You see? Mommy, listen. I want to marry him. I want to be Ijenu's wife. Like, right now. So I'm counting on you to please, please, pretty please, talk to daddy to make it work. I want him so badly. I think you should be asking for an advice on how to get Ijenu to come here and marry you. I know how to get your father to marry you off. So, I'm desperate. Oh. Calm down, dear. Calm down. Listen, one step at a time. When it has to do with men, everything about women is a step at a time. Here we go. Right. Right, right, right. So, Papa, you're telling me right now that there's nothing you can do. Is Princess Cherechi not your childhood friend? Why not get her to do the right thing? Papa, that's impossible. You know how she is. Then stop going to Enuabo for the time being. Isn't that what I asked you to do? Why are you so adamant about it? Papa, I'm adamant because Enuabo has the largest market in Abo Dynasty. Plus, they have industries, factories where our youth stay employed. And they have beautiful sceneries. That's the only place you'd want to be. Mm -hmm. Then you and your maiden should get Princess Chelechi to comply. You are an executive head, aren't you? This is your fight, not mine. But Papa, I did not go to Enuagwa to slap anybody. <laughs> and the king is your friend. The king can do nothing in this situation. So you mean we're going to suffer like this? Stop visiting Enuabo and your suffering will cease. Papa! Papa! Hey. When you slap a royalty, you were asking for a while. Thank you so much for the lunch. <laughs> You're most welcome. 
And I'm so sorry about my father's decision not to end the war. Well, I understand. I mean, everyone is angry on your behalf. Something you and I cannot put an end to. I really wish there is. Because conflicts, no matter their nature, don't sit well with me at all. Let me ask you something, Princess. Ask me what? You know, this whole thing still baffles me. I mean, some insane person walks into your kingdom on your birthday and gives you a slap. And then you did completely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if I were in your shoes, I'm sure the person would probably be dead now or would have a Mac to always remember the day he had a kiss with the spirit of death. Ichi, hear yourself speak. Spirit of death indeed. <laughs> well, as the popular adage says, two persons cannot be mad at the same time. Uh, well, you might not be entirely right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um... Can I see you again, Princess? See me again? Yes, I mean, if you don't mind, I would love to see you again. Oh, okay. Um, we'll see what we'll do about that. Is that a brush off? Oh, no. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'll see you some of the time, my Princess. Okay. All right, you take care of yourself. You're here, filing your nails. You set the whole kingdom on fire. And all you do is sit down here and file your nails. And good afternoon to your father. Oh, you ask how I am doing. I am doing fine. Thank you. This is no time for sarcasm. Oh, father. What do you expect me to do? There is nothing you, I, or even the king can do about the situation. And to think that I took it upon my head to do the right thing. I tried to do the right thing. <laughs> what do you mean you tried to do the right thing? Father, do you know that I had a dream last night? I do not know, Omelebele. Because I did not sleep in the same room with you. Oh yes, you are right, father. I saw Princess Cherechi on fire. I mean, her body was literally on fire and she was running the entire kingdom and there was no one to help her. It was terrifying. Horrifying, father. And guess what? I did set her on fire. Cut the chase and tell me what you tried to do to set things right. Oh, father, father. I am trying to tell you a story here. Calm down and let it unfold. Mm. Omelebele, keep trying me. Keep trying me till I lose my temper. You know, I woke up this morning, this beautiful morning, and I took it upon myself to do something good. I decided to compose a letter. I even went to the palace asking for the letter head of this kingdom. <laughs> Which I use in prison the letter, Father, do you know what? The letter was full of respect, composed properly, well dictioned, addressed properly, and with an olive branch. Greetings to you, Princess Cherechi. On behalf of Inuabo Kingdom as a whole, I apologize to you for all the troubles we must have caused you and your maidens. We apologize for the war, and we are willing to resume peace and make amends. If you will just do one thing for us, come to Enuabo and tender a heartfelt apology to Princess Muna. Normally, this is not to you and no, and no. Secondly, what has come over you? You've become a monster and why are you fighting someone who is never fighting? Do you know what she did, Father? Take a look at this. What is this? Mm -hmm. 
dear Omele Bele of Inuabo, it is with due respect, great feeling, and the only amount of humility that I can feel from the depth of my heart that I ask you and your kingdom to go to hell and burn to ashes. <laughs> oh, Father, I see the shock on your face. Go to hell and burn to ashes. It's all I got from my troubles. The time I took to compose that beautiful letter. So now in that, you see, do you think that she and her kingdom deserve some kind of mercy from us? No, I don't think so. So please, Father, stop blaming me for whatever is happening because it is totally out of my hands. So you came all the way from Adabi to see Grandmother? Of course. Oh, that's so brave of you, considering what has been going on. Well, the woman is still my grandmother, isn't she? Of course she is. And you're still my cousin, aren't you? Yes, I am. Then I don't see the reason I shouldn't pay her. So tell me, how were you able to get here without receiving a single slap? Well, in as much as my father is from Adagbe, my mother is an indigenous of Inuapo, and I grew up here, so I know my way. Yeah, I understand. Considering the risk you took coming here to see grandmother, you melt my heart. Why don't you come in for a hug? Yes, I'm flattered. Why? Simple. I am making a statement. Having a relative in this village does not make you less an Adagbe maiden. And certainly does not make you a maiden of Inuabo. So get out. Adobe, you slapped me. If I land you another slap, get out! When your princess is ready to apologize, then you can come for your relative. What up, slap in the kingdom? What up, slap in the kingdom? Oh, who started this madness? Hey, and who can stop this madness? Nobody do not worry when two elephants fight. The grass was so fast. No matter how fast you run, this is Enuabo. You cannot get away from me. Hi. Go back and tell your princess. My sister, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. When you touch the tail of a tiger, you wanna This is the boundary between Enuabo and Adababo. You are not allowed to cross. Get back. This is ridiculous. Whether Enu or Adagwe, this is Abo land or whatever they now call dynasty. Hmm. I dare you to cross. Get back. This madness, hey, and who can stop this madness? Don't put on a when two elephants fight. The grass is so fast, the grass is so fast. Everyone is suffering, the arrogance of an anger. Hello, ladies. My princess, sit. Hello, ladies. None of the events we've been witnessing were expected. Really? My princess, please. 
do not even act like you don't know why we are here. Because you know. Well, if I do, I really don't care. With due respect, Cherichi, that is absolutely rude and unpleasant to the ear. Hmm? You heard me. Kimika. Yes? The next time you mention my name, without adding my title to it, will be the... The what? Cherichi, stop this rubbish. This is not the time to seek respect. We have more pressing issues on ground. Hmm. You. You know what I'll do? Considering the fact that you are my friend, I am going to conveniently ignore the fact that I really want to strangle you right now and simply ask why are you ladies here please tell her why we are here oh. uh -uh. good <laughs> we need you Cherichi, to go to Enuabo and apologize to princess muna yes yes She's we right. want you to do that Really? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Oh my god, seriously, really? Of course. <laughs> Look at this. This is this is so telepathic. I mean seriously, I've been going over it in my head on on, on this. Oh. Apologizing to her because it's the right thing to do. Yes. Because she deserves an apology from me. Honestly. And seriously. And and look at how look at how the universe works. You ladies are now here giving me the urge that I need to do the appropriate thing. By all means I'll apologize because sincerely she deserves an apology from me. Of course. Of course. I know. Me. Honestly. No. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I absolutely <laughs> will. And now that we're on the topic, I need you girls to help me figure out how to go about this. I mean, I should go with a gift, you know, like a peace offering to pacify the almighty princess. Because I offended her. See, just do it any way you want to do it. Apologize. Exactly. Maybe, maybe I should go on bended knees. Do you think that would be appropriate? Any which way, just go and just that good enough, <laughs> Absolutely wicked because uh, she deserves it. Look at you. 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 Look you. Look at you. Look you. guys to come on this mission to convince me to go to you. Look and apologize to that pig. Me, Princess Cherechi. Y'all are out of your minds. You live in a fool's paradise. That said, if you don't leave my house this minute, Princess, somebody will die. But uh, my princess, Get out. What? Wait, 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 wait. Now. She was just now. Let's go. Off you go. Let us go. Fine, we'll leave. We have to begin with. Fine. We'll leave. Go and stand all of them. Look at them. Brindless maidens. Cowards. Narrow-minded maidens, time-wasting ladies. 
Honey, I'm too sugary for bullshit like this. Hmm. My God. I can't believe you actually made this, my princess. It's delicious. Hmm. Ah, it's not just delicious. Mm. Mind blowing. I could eat this all day, still not be satisfied. I am telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the compliments. Now, can we get back to our discussion? Mm -hmm. What were you saying? Um, okay, I wanted us to put heads together and um, come to a conclusion on how to bring this war to an end. My goodness! What? Do you think of something? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm enjoying this chicken a whole lot. <laughs> hey. mm. oh, can I ask a question? Of course. Where did you get the spice you used on this chicken? Can I get a recipe? Okay, so back to what I was saying. Sorry, I have one more question. Shoot. My princess, are you sure you actually made this yourself? Yes, I did, Ijoma. Now can we get back to our discussion? The answer is no. Excuse me? My princess, as the executive body representing Enuabo maidens, you are about to ask us to put an end to the war of slaps. And the answer is no. Why? Simple. If you are expecting Cherichi to apologize, I have already forgiven her. So why continue the fight? Simple. We are making a statement. A statement? Yes. You are the princess of Enuabo. At the same time, the head princess of Aboland. Your family is well known for their humbleness. We fear that that beautiful attribute may have been mistaken for foolishness. Exactly. That is why somebody had the guts to come into this palace and give you a slap. My princess, the action we have taken is simply to send a clear message to every single human being on earth who has ever taken you and your family for granted enough is enough we are not idiots that's what we are saying that's why the answer is no if you're asking us to put an end to this war of slaps it's no this war will last even if it will last till the end of our lives princess cherechi must apologize now if you don't mind, can I please have some of this to go? I really want my mother to have a taste. My princess, forget it. The warm must continue. Mm. Well, can I? Show us some God, Sukamaka. I don't know what that means. You mean you still came in here after what your princess did? Listen, Ijoma, I don't have any business whatsoever with what Cherichi has done. Ah. I'm going to my place of work. Eh? I don't know what you mean by ah! stupid girl. Good. Give her another one, stupid girl. Stupid like this. You, you will still, you will come back and meet us here. Stupid girl. Who teach her a bitter lesson? She. Let me even let me catch her. When you touch the tail of a tiger, you wanna start to work. Hey, what of slap in the kingdom? What of slap in the kingdom? Oh, who started this madness? Hey. And who can stop this madness? No, we do not worry when two elephants fight. They cross me so far. They cross me so far. Everyone is suffering the arrogance of an arrogant princess. Oh. Hmm.
a royalty. You were asking for a while. You know what? My answer is no. I beg your pardon? Your Majesty, you do not know why I'm calling you. Why no? Listen, Ezadabu, you are calling me because you want me to put a stop to the war of slap that is going on. I am not going to do that. Your Majesty, have you noticed that not even one of my maidens, I mean maiden from Adababo, has retaliated on any of your maidens since this madness started. They all chose to bear the pain because we are remorseful people. Do you know what? They can proceed to retaliate if they believe. They can. Let them go ahead. But let me tell you something else, Adabwe. The people who dipped one of their fingers into the pot of oil has not managed to explain how the oil got to the other fingers. Please, Your Majesty. This is getting out of hand. If we do not curtail it now, it will turn into something else. Let it turn to whatever you want it to turn into. Why are you calling me and why are you telling me nonsense? Listen, your daughter is the problem here. Stop calling me and dispend this energy in telling your daughter to do what she has got to do. My daughter is a devil. Your daughter is a devil. Then I am that monster that is superior to the devil. Don't play into my hands, please. I am a man. And when I am provoked, I go to the extreme. Hey, what up, slap in the kingdom? What up, slap in the kingdom? Oh, who started this madness? Why are you looking at me? Calm down. Nobody's looking at me. So just calm down. Get out. Look at this oh fool. Mind, Who has the girls to be asking? Hey. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look, look, look at that. Yeah, we'll deal with them in this kingdom. <laughs> Now, would you stop that nonsense you're doing and listen to me? Miss Hart, this is you, and what you're about to say is something I don't want to hear. Cherry, sit down. Sit down, let me talk to you. Sit! Good. Cherry, the fact that you are currently the most powerful maiden of this land. <laughs> When you asked them to leave, did they utter a word? No! And that's not nice. Nobody cares, Mom. Nobody cares. How many times do I have to say this? Come on, child. This is not time for a carefree attitude. <laughs> Mommy, you come on. I am the most powerful maiden in our land. You just said it. That means... I am superior to all those maidens. I will beat them at whatever game it is they have up their sleeves. I always win. You know me. Now that said, can we use the moment to talk about something that is of great importance to me? Something of interest other than this nonsensical talk. Oh, come on. Will you listen to me? Mommy, you listen. Please. What I want from you right now is advice, strategy, ideas. Give me something here, anything that will get me Ijeno. I love him. I love him so much. I want to know how it is I'll be able to get him to come here and marry me. Like right now, I can't even think straight anymore. I love him so much. Oh my goodness. What is it? You are gradually losing your head. Mommy, stop it. I'm just a girl in love. I just, I love him. It's Ijenu or nothing. He's the man for me. To hell with everything and everybody. I don't care for them. I don't fucking care. Oh no, you stop!
Let me ask you something, princess. Ask me what? You know, this whole thing still baffles me. I mean, some insane person walks into your kingdom on your birthday and gives you a slap. And then you did completely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if I were in your shoes, I'm sure the person would probably be dead now. Or would have a Mac to always remember the day he had a kiss with the spirit of death. Ichi, hear yourself speak. Spirit of death indeed. <laughs> well, as the popular adage says, two persons cannot be mad at the same time. Uh. Son, why are you drifting? Uh, sorry, Dad. Um, what's wrong? What's wrong? Take a look around. Can you recognize your surrounding? I don't understand. Of course I can recognize my surrounding. I'm asking because it seems you and I may be seated here. But I'm the only one in this room. I'm sorry, Dad. What got you like this? Nothing serious, Dad. I'm all right. Son? Yes, Dad? Those papers are blank. Oh, um... Y yes, uh... Yes. Um... What's going on in that head of yours? Uh, um... Dad... Does love at first sight... Does it truly exist? So... All this has to do with a woman. Oh, Father, please, just answer my question. Love at first sight, does it exist? Who is she? Oh, Dad, come on, please. I just want to know, love at first sight, does it exist? Fine. Love at first sight. It depends. On what? You know, most times you might see someone, you know, and you think it's, it's true love. And then, within a short while, you find out it's not there. Are you trying to say that love at first sight does not exist? No. What I'm trying to say here is it's almost impossible for you to just see someone and then truly know that you're in love with the person. It takes time, you know? It takes time. With time, you now find out. Love develops. It builds. It grows. It means I've been crazy after all. When I looked at the princess, Every part of me told me I am in love with this girl. Someone I would love to spend the rest of my life with. Son, that's not love at first sight. You've always known Princess Munachi. Huh? Maybe you've been in love with her all this while without you even knowing. You stop this nonsense. You're acting crazy. Oh, now I'm acting crazy. I'm acting crazy because I believe in love at first sight, mommy. Hmm. I saw the man propose to me in my dream. It was just a dream. Come on! We have important issues at hand. Like what? Like becoming the head princess of Abo? Tell me something, mommy. Why is this so important to you? Me? Yes, you. And don't you go pretending like you don't know what I'm talking about. Because you know, you started this. 
this madness, this whole idea erupted from you. You are the reason this war is raging. So if I'm giving you what you want, why can't you give me what I want? Why can't you let me be happy? Oh, come on. Sweetheart, believe me. Once you become the head princess of Abu Dynasty, believe me, you will be very happy. Oh, <laughs> I beg to disagree, Mom. It is you who will be happy when I become the head princess. Oh. I, on the other hand, will be happy when I marry Ijeno. And if you won't help me have him, I will go to any length at all costs to get him by myself for myself. She's acting crazy. My daughter has gone crazy. Oh my goodness. Why? Oh, Jerichi, why? Hey, hello, come here. What is it? Is there any... <gasps> Go back to your kingdom and tell your princess that you have been slapped. Stupid and you thing. Be slapped again whenever you enter this kingdom again. Yes. Fool. Again and again. Get out of this place. That stupid Cherechi to be an extremely insulting human being. God. But today, I have seen her. She is just stupid. We have tried our best to reason with her. So, the only thing left now is for us to figure out a way forward. What do you mean figure out a way? What way exactly? Hold on. Do you want to go and beg Princess Mona on her behalf? Is that what you want? Beg? Well, we know that will not work. It's not going to work, please. Listen. Before you get to that palace, you must have received multiples of beatings and slaps that will reset your brain. Onkake Kaneku. Ne. I heard that Enuabo has placed boundaries that we cannot cross. Our maidens who work in their factories have stopped going to work. No, nobody wants to be slapped. Wait, hold on. Just what if? What if we make it look like Princess Cherichi is remorseful? How can? But is incapable of going to beg herself? Come on, Azongene. Be realistic. These people are no fools. What would you rather have me do? The three of us are the executive heads of the maidens in this community and everything rests on our shoulders. So, do you have any idea? If you have any other suggestion, you come up, you say it. Because I'm tired. What is all this? Will you stop screaming? Just calm down, we are thinking of something. I'm tired. You sent for me. Oh yes, please sit down. Well, since you asked nicely, I will. Mm. What is it? My queen, long, long, ungala quesile. Do you still love me? I beg your pardon. You heard me. Do you still love me? Well, Onyezi, I'm married to you, that's all. I know. You're my wife. But that doesn't answer my question. What? Do you still love me? Well, what do you think? Please, I do not have strength or inclination for argument. Can you kindly answer me? Do you still love me? Yes, I do. 
Now, what is this whole madness all about? Are you sure? Sure about what? About the fact that you still love me. But I just answered you, didn't I? My question requires a yes or no answer. Yes, I, 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 I still love you. Now, what is this all about? Your answer is just so suiting. Well, it is all about our daughter. My queen, your hand, please. Please, I beg of you, if truly you love me, find a way to convince our daughter to go back to Enobo and apologize to Princess Monachi. Please. So this is why you question my love. I'm pleading with you. Please. Do you know what, Onyeze? Oh, I'm listening. <laughs> Go to hell! May I know why you're standing in the middle of the road and you have this look on your face? I think you were right. Maybe we should actually bring this whole thing to an end before it gets out of hand. I understand you. I also understand the fact that for that to happen, we would have to get the consent of the entire Enoabo maidens. And we both know that is not going to happen. I am beginning to feel guilty. Actually, the truth is that maidens of Enoabo, in a bid to defend their princess, ended up representing her in the worst image. You think? This isn't her. This whole madness, it isn't Monachi and we all know that. Now that I think of it, I think the war itself is actually as a result of festering anger. The moment Princess Cherechi declared her intentions to be the head princess of Enoawa dynasty. So then, you are saying that this is actually more deeper than we thought? More deeper. So then there is nothing we can do about it? I am afraid I do not have an answer to that question. I feel guilty. So guilty. So do I. Well, I see you have been well entertained today. Why do you say so? Um, well, the sight of your maid cutting off a whole bunch of eustaches was my first clue. <laughs> Avele, mm. why do I have this feeling that you already know who my visitors were? And what do you think? I am right. Am I not? Well, I saw Ijoma and Nene leaving the palace on my way here. But they were busy hurrying off the opposite direction. 
So they did not see me? Well, there's no need hiding anything about our meeting from you. Since they'll end up telling you anyway. So you did have a meeting without me? Well, you were being stubborn about ending the war of slaps. So I had to do something. How did it go? It didn't end well. Now you understand the whole thing is out of our hands, right? Abella, this has to stop. It will. But not until Princess Cherichi comes here to apologize to you. I don't care about that. I care. We all care. And that is how it's going to be. Anyone who insults the head maiden has automatically insulted all the maidens and we will not take it. We cannot let the insult fly. Hmm. Girlfriend, why do I have this feeling that your visit to my home is not about my visitors? And what do you think? Am I wrong? What I'm trying to say here is it's almost impossible for you to just see someone and then truly know that you're in love with the person. It takes time, you know? It takes time. With time, you now find out. Love develops. It builds. It grows. It means I've been crazy after all. When I looked at the princess, every part of me told me I am in love with this girl. Someone I would love to spend the rest of my life with. So, are you going to tell me why you're really here or not? What do you think of my brother? What? You heard me. Your, your brother? Yes. Then you would have to rephrase that question because I do not understand a thing. Wenachi, the question is clear enough. Then I would ask, why did you ask? Um, um, I am simply trying to find out what my best friend thinks of my brother as a man suitable for her. Oh my goodness, Ebele, <laughs> you are one of a kind. Seriously, I don't know where this is coming from. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And I don't try to change the topic because I will not give you the space to. Truthfully, I don't know what you're saying. Oh. Okay. Mina, you're my best friend. There is no denying that. And Ichenu is my brother. I love him so much. I know he has feelings for you. I am not aware of that. He hasn't said anything to me and I haven't seen it from him. But I am telling you that he wants to come close. Wow. I, I, I am telling you this so you take out time to think about it. And... If you discover that you, you cannot match up his feelings, then don't let him start up anything because I do not want him to get hurt. Okay? I understand. Thank you. Then, as your friend, I will tell you to please take a step back and allow us to figure out things for ourselves. Hmm? We are equally adults, right? Understood. Good. Now can I breathe? Uh -uh. Please. You can't <laughs> breathe. <laughs> I will have to suffocate you. <laughs> oh no. Your Majesty, things are getting worse. It is getting out of hand, seriously. You think I do not know? 
this war between our young maidens, it has progressed. And I fear that soon our young men may join. I equally feel in your fear. Uh, I have thought long and hard about a possible solution and I finally came up with an idea. I'm listening. Your Majesty, I think we should summon the maidens of Renoabo and make them an offer they cannot refuse. And the offer will be? Money. Money and select all things. Let me get it straight. Do you think that a maiden born and bred in a kingdom as wealthy and developed as Inuabo will be swayed by an offer of money? Your Majesty, money moves mountains. And those maidens from Inuabo can be moved. And you fail to understand that they have loads of that in their various homes. You've made your point. Thank you very much. I appreciate you for that. Greetings, Your Majesty. Omelebele, how are you? Very well, Your Majesty. Please be seated. Thank you. I know you will be wondering why I summoned you here this morning. And I know you are surprised as to the reason I demanded to see you in private. Yes, Your Majesty. You're right. I am surprised. But then, you're the king. And summoning me here is your exclusive right. <laughs> Your father once told me that you are a strong woman. And I am beginning to see threats of that strength in you. I am flattered, Your Majesty. Thank you, should, you. You shouldn't be flattered. I am telling you the truth. Well, I need us to get down to specifics. I summoned you here because I... I want to say thank you to you. Thank you? Yeah. How, Your Majesty? You see, women like you are in short supply. So I call you to thank you because you have done something that is extraordinary. Something nobody has done before. My daughter, the princess, was assorted in this palace by someone who is not actually qualified to insult her. And she decided to do nothing about it. But you, a friend, took it upon yourself to defend your friend. I mean, friends who can go all out in that manner to defend their friends are in short supply. And that is why I am thanking you. Well, Your Majesty, I am not alone in this. In fact, the whole maidens in this land are involved together. But you are their leader. I suppose. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> so automatically I can say that whatever thing that they have done, you are responsible for all their actions. <laughs> I understand what that means. <laughs> and that is why I said I should call you and thank you. And I, I want to thank you by, by giving you this. When I say thank you, it shouldn't just be thank you by words of mouth. That's a certified check that you can cash anytime you so desire. Uh, it is something that uh, you have to cash just not for yourself, but for all the maidens of this land. It is a, it is a, a token from me, token of appreciation. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Oh, God, 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 God. 
Jenna, think, think, think. Come on. Yes, I have it. My sweetheart. Oh, come on. How can you call someone that is not your woman my sweetheart? That's not possible. Think, think, think. Yes. Aha. Look straight into her eyes with a beautiful smile and then call her my love. How are you? Oh God, I just sounded ducky. So what do I do? What am I going to do? Goodness gracious God! Oh, my dress. You like it? Like what? My dress? What dress? I'm asking you because I cannot see anyone on you. Seriously, mommy? <laughs> you must have gone blind then. Me or you? <laughs> Out of my way, mommy. I don't have time for this. Where the hell are you going dressed like this? I am going to claim my territory. I beg your pardon? To take charge of my destiny. That said, out of my way. Jerichi, please, go back to the room and put on some nice clothes. Come on! <laughs> Mommy, you don't want to do this with me. You don't want me to do something both of us will regret right now. Do what? Out of my way. I shouldn't have stopped to listen to you in the first place. Please, get out of my way. I gotta go. Come on! You are a princess and shouldn't be seen dressed like this. Please, stop it. I gotta go. Come on! Go back! Go to your room and put on something nice. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know what? I'm sorry, Mommy. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. Just give me... Give me your hand. Thank you. Give me your hand. You go. Well, you suffer as my mother, yet you don't friggin' know me. Doing what? Oh, thank God. To you. Thank God, sweetheart. Thank God. I'm glad. I'm glad you didn't let her step out dressed like that. Give me one reason I should have done that. Oh, come on, okay, Chioko. She is your daughter and the head princess of the slam. Come on, she shouldn't be seen dressed like that. Yes, you should have stopped her. You bred a monster. Now, she's grown and is out of your control. <laughs> what a shame. Ngalakwesili, what a shame! I can't believe you allowed your own daughter leave this house dressed like that. You are a monster. Really? She dressed in the way that depicts the state of her heart. And her mother should deal with it. My God. Why is it doing this? Exactly, are you here? I, I came in last night. Last night? Yes, my princess. Oh my goodness. How did you manage? I mean, how are you even here without anyone stopping you or beating you up? My princess, I really needed to see you. And where there's a will, there's always a way. 
You haven't answered my question. But let's leave that for now. You must be tired. Have you eaten? Okay, come in, come no, in. Let me princess. offer you something. Princess, please. I'm not worthy of going into your home after everything that has happened. Nonsense. You risked your life, your safety to come here to come see me. And you don't want me to offer you anything? That's nonsense. That's not Princess Mona. Come in. Princess. Even after everything Princess Chiechi did to you, you still show me hospitality. Like you said, the person who offended me was your princess. And not you or any other person. Okay? I bear no grudge. Come in. Thank you, my princess. <laughs> you were asking Aloha. for a while. When you touch Ejeno, can you just comport yourself and call her, okay? Call her. Call who? Is it me? You sexy. You? Yes, it's me. How are you? What are you doing here and why are you dressed like this? Don't be silly. I came to see my man. Since Mountain will not come to me, I decided to bring myself to Mountain. And as for the dress, do you like it? Because I wore this for you. You like it? I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> Look at you. Well, let me ask you a question. Why would you want to wear anything? Why would you want to impress me? Because you're my man. Don't be silly. Your man? I came to see my man, just in case he has forgotten I exist. Your man? Yes. And why are you acting like you've seen a ghost? What, you don't want to have fun with me? What is the meaning of this? Or should I say, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Oh, I see what's going on over here. You don't want to disrespect the princess by torching her before marriage. Look at you, you're just so cute. And decent too. Princess, did you smoke any of those banned substances before coming here because I don't remember discussing marriage with you. But we are getting married. No, we are not getting married. Enough of all this, please. You may leave. Excuse me? You heard me, I said go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I did. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ruka. You're welcome, my princess. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, you sure you don't want something else? Oh, no, I'm perfectly fine. I'm satisfied. Thank you. Oh. And I can't thank you enough for this hospitality. Come off it. There's <laughs> nothing there. You are in my house and it's my duty to take care of you. True. So, concerning why you're here, I am all ears. <sighs> my princess, mm -hmm. I have a few things I need to say to you. But before I do, the king, I don't know if he's around, he needs to hear this. My father? Yes, my princess, the king. Eugene, call her. Like, make the call already, guy. Call her. I really need to do something fast. Elsa Luza. My God, brother. 
You need to see the way you look through the camera right now. Wow! I should have killed you a long time ago. I still don't know why I let you live. Oh, I love you too, brother. I see the air condition is on. Are you sweating? It is my sweat. And not yours, is it? Can you just mind your business? Why are you rude? Don't be rude to me, brother. They said a problem shared is a problem have. For those who have problem. I don't have a problem I can't remember telling you or anyone else that I have a problem. Can you say what you want and disappear? I can't. Because I do not have any. Then why are you here? I mean, this house is big enough. You can be anywhere else. Why are you here? Why are you rude, brother? I am not the reason you are frustrated. Mm. <laughs> can I ask you for a favor, my beautiful sister? Anything for you, brother. Get away. Please. All right. I will. Thank you. <sighs> you should call her, you know. Princess or no princess, the best way to get to your woman that you like or probably love is to call. Call her, brother. Call her. <laughs> Jenna, make this call. This is very strange. Daddy, please, give her a listening ear. Mona James, I don't have any problem with this maiden. But the problem is, what is a maiden of Adam Bible doing before me in a time such as this? Your Majesty, I have come to apologize. Apologize for what? To Princess Muna and to you, the King of Inuabo. <laughs> so how are you going to present this apology? On behalf of the maidens and Princess Cherechi, I've come here pleading, asking for your forgiveness. Please, let this go and please call off the war. In all honesty, I don't understand what she's talking about. What? Father? Why are you calling me? Didn't you hear what she just said? She said she is here to apologize on behalf of herself and the entire maidens of her, the Bible, for the offense they have committed against you. And I want to ask you, what is this offense that all the maidens of the Bible committed against you that I am not aware of? Daddy, please, don't stretch this any further. Your hmm? Majesty, the day Princess Cherichik slapped Princess Muna, not only did she embarrass our entire kingdom, but she misrepresented the maidens of the land. That's why I'm here begging, pleading that you please forgive us. Please. First of all, I'm going to ask you to stand up. Thank you, Your Highness. Sit down. Secondly, I need you to understand something because it is so obvious you are missing the point. The crime was committed by your princess, Princess Shereshi of Adawaba Kingdom. And that crime is not just against the maidens of my land, it is not just, it is a huge offense against the maidens of your own land. Daddy, what are you saying? What I am saying is that this young woman here should not actually be here in the first place. Because she has not done anything. She shouldn't be wasting her time apologizing for an offense she did not commit. Rather, she should channel that same strength and energy towards getting the princess of her land who is in the center of this whole mess to step out of her cocoon and come and remedy the wrong that she has committed. Your Majesty, Princess Cherichi is remorseful. It's just sad that she could not be here because she's not well. She's not feeling well. 
Can you stand before the offer of this palace and swear that your princess is sick as we speak? Father, she must be telling the truth. Don't get involved. I, I, Are you swear? I, I lied. What? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. You know what? I don't have any problem with you. Just go back to where you are coming from. If she is the one who sent you, go back and tell her that she misfired. Eh? She is the one in the center of this whole nonsense. Let her do what she has to do to remedy the crime that she has committed. Don't do this again. Don't do this again. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Normally, this is not the you I know. And secondly, what has come over you? You've become a monster now. Why are you fighting someone who is never fighting you? Your attitude. <laughs> did you smoke any of those banned substances before coming here? Because I don't remember discussing marriage with you. We are getting married. No, we are not getting married. Oh, I can't believe this. Seductive princess. You're back early. <laughs> Maybe the man you dressed in these rags to see rejected you. Idiotic ladies like you think that dressing seductively is one way to get a man. Never. It never works with responsible men. That is the simple truth. Just look at you. I want to get married, Dad. What? I want to become Ijenu's wife. And it must happen by all means necessary. It will be good for all of us if you wipe that hideous smirk off your face and begin to help me achieve it. Because if you don't, Daddy, I will cause more harm than I already have. I'll begin to destroy things. I will cause so much trouble in this palace and in your entire kingdom. So much so that by the time I'm done, I would have succeeded in raining fire and brimstone upon your household and upon your kingdom. Make it happen, Dad. Chere <laughs> You've completely lost your head. But I will prove to you that when an elephant takes more than it ought to, the possibility of explosion becomes imminent. Nonsense. Uh, first thing first, how did you do it? Do what? How did you enter Enuabo and walk straight to the palace without getting beaten up or even receiving lots of slaps? How did you do it? I had my ways. Mm. <laughs> I understand that. Um, 
the guy you're seeing helped you out, right? You can think whatever you want to think. I knew it. The guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's by the way, so finally did you achieve your aim? No, <laughs> you did not. Did you? Not entirely. No. What do you mean not entirely? Did you or did you not achieve your aim? <sighs> Ezenu rejected my plea to call off the war. But he offered me a possible solution. Okay. What could that be? He said, go back to your kingdom and get your princess to behave. <laughs> get the princess to behave? You? I mean, how do you intend to achieve that? <laughs> that that's, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. But I have an idea. What? I am in no mood for any of this. Actually, Princess, we will do the talking and you do the listening. Excuse me. I, oh, she is right. She just said you don't have to talk, so you shut up. Listen. It's all gone to hell, Father. It has all gone to hell. You are interrupting my drink. Your drink? Is your drink more important than my distress? Yes. There! Now the only object of importance in this room is me! Are you mad? As Ongini and the entire maidens of your land have gone mad. Except me, of course. Except you? Yes. Then they are right to be mad. They are right? Is that all you have to say? Do you consider yourself sane? I'm asking you, Cherechuku. Ikanagunu Mwini. Because I don't. Utenari. Mwani go. Rubbish. Okay, then. If that's how you're feeling, then be prepared for the total war that I'm going to unleash on your maidens who have declared war on me audaciously. You understand? I see. Not exactly that I care. Anyway, but what exactly are you talking about? Princess, you are my friend. That's why this hurts me. But we do not have a choice here. This is a unanimous decision. <laughs> so, what is this? Unanimous decision. We are communicating you, Cherichin. <laughs> what? As of this moment, you are no longer a maiden of this kingdom. Which means we no longer recognize you as our princess. And as it stands, as far as we are concerned, the king is without a daughter. Yes. You shouldn't have done that. Bad move, Cherichi. Bad move. You all have gone insane. No, Cherichi. You went crazy on all of us, and this is the only way to fix it. Yes! Nobody wants to live with a mad person. Now you listen real good. When a member of a family is mad on everyone, the only way to solve the problem is by separating the very mad person from every other person. Do you understand? And that is exactly what we have done. <laughs> uh, uh, so, Chirichi, I, I, I want you to be careful, okay? Because anytime you step us from this palace, it will no longer, I repeat, it will no longer 
going to be like before. Nothing is going to remain the same for you again. Having said all of this, and now we have to take our leave. Goodbye, my ex-princess. <laughs> you know what? Enjoy your lonely, miserable, ugly life. All by yourself. Please. I warned you, Cherichi. I warned you. Normally, this is not the you I know. And secondly, what has come over you? You've become a monster and why are you fighting someone who is never fighting you? Your attitude got me asking questions. What happened to you, girl? See the world is started and you have no remorse. Let go your pride and let things flow. Hey, could this be obsession? obsession. Or maybe she have lost it oh, Or could this be my Cause baby girl You are losing me Could this be obsession Or maybe she have lost it That is exactly how it happened Daddy And because they have so audaciously Declared a war on me I will crush them. Be very careful because you will never win against the rest. <laughs> and by that you mean? You are getting what you deserved, my princess. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, ex princess, as rightly articulated by the outstanding maidens of my kingdom, Adab Abo. Is that all you have to say, Dad? Are you trying to mock me? And I will do that over again. You won't dare. Listen, I will take your crown and every other thing that makes you a princess of Adabwabo. Mom? Mom? Mom, where are you? Is that the worst you can do? Yelling! Mom! Stupid girl! That is why you are not deserved to be addressed or called a princess! Nonsense! Rubbish! They have no right. They have no right whatsoever, Your Majesty. <laughs> Do I look like I care? If there is anyone that is to be taught a very big lesson here, your daughter is the one. Mommy, can you hear him? Do you hear what he's saying? This is bullshit and I'm not having any of it anymore. Princess. Mommy. Give us a minute. All right. This is a joke, right? A plot for you to get our daughter behave properly, right? Wrong. Excuse me? This is the very first time I am hearing that maidens of a particular kingdom has communicated their princess. I was surprised when your daughter came to inform me about the development. But you know what? I love it. You do? Oh. What else do you want? Yes. I love it. I cherish it. In fact, I adore it. Oh, you do not even care. 
care that your own daughter is now an outcast in her own kingdom. Look at me. Ngarakwesi. I want to be left alone. I see. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. Onyeze. Something must kill a man, they said. If it's not money, it's liquor. If it's not liquor, then it's a woman. You're right. <laughs> Good. Now look around you. Which of those things I mentioned do you see? Once upon a time, you asked me if I still love you. Remember my answer? I lied. The demons are gradually beginning to show their true nature. My own wife declared war on me. We shall see. We shall see. Oh boy, you call my good friend. I don't understand. Why are you not drinking? This is good. I have this feeling you're trying to get me drunk. Well, considering the fact you are here to ask me again to stop the war of slap going on amongst our maidens, getting you drunk is actually not a bad idea. <laughs> Relax, my good friend. I'm, not, I'm only joking. But that is why you are here. Is it not? No, not at all. Not at all. Thank God. You know, <laughs> right from when we were small boys, you've always been mischievous. But you can see that uh, we are no longer small boys. You have grown to be the Oppo Yoko of Inuabo. And I am now the king. So I no longer do mischievous things. <laughs> so you're saying I can drink? Come on, go ahead and drink. You will like it. It's good. <laughs> yeah, unrelated to what we're talking about, is your daughter seeing anyone? Excuse me? It's just a simple question. But it's a very strange one. It only requires a yes or no answer. Yes, it requires a yes or no answer, but that does not mean the question you just asked me about my daughter is very strange. It's only curiosity. We've always discussed our, our children, haven't we? Yes, we have always discussed our children, but this one I maintain is actually very strange. So? Okay, fine. My daughter is not seeing anyone. Not any that I know. Any that you know of? Come on, oh boy, Yoko. If my daughter is seeing any man, I should know of him. Don't you think so? So we both agree on no? Listen, my daughter is not seeing any man at the moment. Simple. Okay. Yeah. It's not okay. I need to know exactly. Why are you asking this question? Simple. I already answered you before. Curiosity. Hi. Hello. Come on. You just can't keep ignoring me because I won't live. Where is it possible for you to talk to your brother? Oh my god. What have I done to you in this life? What? 
What do you want? All right, here we go. Have I told you how beautiful and how much I love you? Only when you are desperately in need of something. From me, actually. All right, you win. I need your help. Obviously. What is it? How did you get to find out about my feelings for the princess? Are you here to ask a question or to seek for help? Which? Alright, I'm here to seek for help. Mm hmm. Obviously. Which is? Oh, me. Tell me, how do I get close to the princess? What kind of things does she like? I mean, how do I get to impress her? How do I get to know her? First of all, you should get close to her. Then you will actually know what to get for her. I would. But if I knew her better, I would have gotten her a gift on her birthday that was celebrated a few days ago. Oh, yeah, you seem to be on the right track. As I did not think of that too. So tell me, what really does she like? Juries? Or does she fall into the categories of the girls that love flashy things? You know, Gucci, brother, Louis V. What really does she like? Oh, my dearest brother, you could get her whatever you want. Jewelries, designer's bag, or clothes. I think she will appreciate, no doubt. But there are still some women on earth who are not mesmerized by all those things, uh, jewelries, designer's bags, you know. There is still one thing they appreciate more than silver and gold. Trust me. Tell me, what is that she appreciates more than silver and gold? Your Majesty, what are you saying to me right now? You heard me. I have changed my mind about what we discussed last time. I am not about to do anything to stop this war. I will not invite any maiden from Inuaba. And I certainly will not make them any offer. Your Majesty, at this time, precisely this time, my daughter needs to be taught a huge lesson by experience, as that is the only way she can learn. Your Majesty, she has been excommunicated in her own kingdom. And that has not been able to get a single remorse from her. It's your Zemena. You cannot help someone who does not want to be helped. My daughter deserves what she's getting. I know the princess is stubborn. But I am not in support of all that is happening now. At all. Each year, they are all happening for her own good. And what if they are not for her own good? Then, we will find a way to handle the outcome. Your Majesty, each year, this case is closed. Ibele, I understand you called us here for a meeting, but I don't understand why you are now finding it difficult to tell us what the meeting is all about. I thought it was just me. Well, um, I did not call you to here for a meeting. I actually called you here to see this. What is this? My God! Ebele, what is 
happening? That is a sign of appreciation from the king. You know, he gave it to us all for standing there for his daughter. He also added parcels of lands. You mean the king is thanking us for the war? Yes. With this? According to him, he said those of us who will not get the parcels of land will be awarded with large sum of money and scholarships. <laughs> this is huge. Is it just me? Or did our king just rewrite history? This has never been done in Igbo land. Not ever. Mm -hmm. You're right. I think the king has just begun a tradition that may put a smile on the faces of our daughters yet unborn. You know, I just hope we can all uphold that legacy. For the first time in Igbo land, women possess parcels of lands in their names. And yes, we will uphold the legacy. We have no choice. So, cheers to good life. Cheers. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Dress properly, right? Actually, that's not what I meant. You look good. Really? Yeah. But why are you nervous? More uh, importantly, where are you headed? I I hope I'll find a way to meet with the princess. Have you called her? Nope. Why? Like you said, I'm a bit nervous. Did you text her? I actually wanted to do that, but I just can't find the right words. For the first time in history, my playboy son cannot find the right words to say to a woman. <laughs> well, father, let's just call it karma. Karma's taking place. Karma. <laughs> do you remember that the uh, Munaji? is my god child. Father, don't be so ridiculous. How can I possibly forget? Good. So, are you sure that what you have for this girl is extreme love? Or do you want to have a rethink about this? I wouldn't want you messing things up. Father, yesterday I was standing in front of a seductive goddess. She was looking so beautiful, so seductive, so mesmerizing, mind-blowing, tempting. Everyone would grab her that instant. Uh, everyone, including a monk. Why didn't you? Like I said, Father, I was staring at a goddess of sex. But the most important part of my body was fast asleep. What? This has never happened to me before. It has never happened to anyone. Are you sure you don't have a medical problem? Of course not. Well, um, the only thing in my mind is I'm going out to meet with the princess. <laughs> Son? Is that? If what you really feel for that young woman is sincere as what we all really think, don't bother. Fate will bring the two of you together. Right? Thanks, Dad. I wish you luck. This is crazy! You are acting crazy! Am I now? Mommy, there's nothing you can tell me about this. I'm going to be Ijeno's wife. Stop! Stop it! 
You have just been excommunicated from your own kingdom. Isn't that enough problem for you to worry about? I do not care. When I become Ijena's wife, all of this <laughs> silly topics won't be of consequence anymore. How then do you intend to achieve that? If you do not have their support, how do you want to become the head princess of Abu Dynasty? Watch and see it play out. She can never be mad. Ah, the daughter of Ngana Kwesa can never be mad. No. When you slap a royalty, you were asking for a while. When you touch the tail of a tiger, you wanna start to work. You know what? I am tired. I am simply tired of this nonsense they call a war of slap. I mean, any maiden I find giving another maiden a slap today, that maiden will get a slap on her face for me. Still, we could have just taken a car from the palace, eh? There are so many of them lying, lying there. One of the cars you bought, right? Iruka, did I force you to come out here with me? No, oh, my prince. Then sip it or find your way back to the palace. I thought as much. Let me find anyone. What of slap in the kingdom? What of slap in the kingdom? Oh, who started this madness? Hey, and who can stop this madness? Don't put do not worry when two elephants fight. Big grass will so far. Big grass will so far. Everyone is suffering. The arrogance of an arrogant princess. Oh, when you slap a royalty, you were asking for a while. When you touch the tail of a tiger, you wanna start to work. So tell me, what is that thing that the princess appreciates more than silver and gold? Are you sure you really want to know the answer to this question? I ask because Men really don't like to hear these answers. You don't understand. It's not about what I want. It's about what she wants. <laughs> I love that you're talking this way. Really. <sighs> Ome, can you just stop beating about the bush? Go straight to what I want to know. How do I impress Princess Monarchy? Okay. I am not going to tell you what to buy for her. For the birthday. Why? But I am going to give you an advice that will help you understand her perfectly. By so doing, you can get her a gift. Oh, Mary Mary, you're just a handful. Is it possible for you to just go straight to the point? Tell me what I need to know. Are you going to listen to me or not? All right, I'm listening. Fine. Unique women like Princess Monachi needs just one thing from a man. Which is? Complete sincerity. Whatever you do, whatever you dare say to her, make sure you tell her the truth. Really? Brother, I know you too well. And I know how you got your women in the past. But to see this particular woman, it will not work for her. I don't know what you feel, only you do. But make sure you tell her the truth. So tell me, how will what you just said now help me in getting her a better gift for her birthday? Wow. Brother, you have known Monachi right from when we were kids. You know how well you know her person. Add your true feelings to that. Then you will get her the birthday gift. 
a perfect one at that. So back to her. I just hope I made the right choice. and food what happened to your car ah can i be of help <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much but i'm not a lady in distress i was just taking a walk a walk mm -hmm. by my calculations this is a long walk from the palace but not a long way from home because everywhere in inabo is my home which is why i have decided to take matters into my hand today and put an end to all the madness not following my princess. The princess is taking a walk today to put an end to the slap war by giving any Inuabu maiden caught in the act a slap of her own. Princess, a man you're walking on foot, no guard in sight. I don't think that's advisable. I mean, for security reasons, I don't think you should be doing this. I said so. Iruka, one more word from you. I'm, I'm sorry, my princess. Ijenu, that is not too extreme. And I don't need my guides. I am tired of the ridiculous war of slaps. I am. In that case, uh, I can drive you while you stop the slap madness. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jenu. But seriously, I do not want you to inconvenience yourself on my behalf. Inconvenience myself? Yes. <laughs> That's not true. I'd rather do it for you. <laughs> Come on, let's try. Let's do, let's do this together. Okay. Um, Iruka, you can go back to the palace now. As you can see, I have company. No, I can't, my princess. Iruka! Yes, my princess. Uh, 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 princess, let me handle this. Can you drive? It is mandatory for any guard or maiden offering direct service to the royal family to know how to drive. Yes, I can drive. <laughs> oh, here. Yeah. Are you sure? Of course. Here. Yeah. That's my car key. So, um, take the car to the palace. We'll meet you up there. Hmm? I'll take it from here. So, princess. What exactly do you want me to do for you? I'm at your service. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? <laughs>
much is happening. Is this a joke? Who is in that kitchen? How can I help you? Take a look at this. Take a look at what? Are you messing with me or what? Why empty dishes on my dining table? Oh, simple. Here is not a zoo. Therefore, I'm not under any obligation to provide food for an idiot. Excuse you? A king who followed his kingdom to excommunicate his own daughter is nothing but an idiot. I do not have food for idiots. You mean you will not give me food in my own house? Sorry. I can't find any other person here. The only one standing before me is nothing but an idiot. Rubbish. Idiot. I can't believe this is happening in my own house. I am being alienated in my own home. Please stop disturbing my peace. You took them. Took what? My car keys. Oh! Is that the reason you are making noise all over the place? I ask you for the last time. Where the hell are my car keys? And I tell you to your face, go to hell. Gala Kwesini. Okay, Chu. What has come over you? You called me by my name? How dare you? Do your worst. You don't start a war. You will not win. Okay, Chukumba Togo. Do your worst. Ese Adabe abo my foot. Rubbish. Related to what we're talking about, is your daughter seeing anyone? Excuse me? It's just a simple question, but it's a very strange one. It only requires a yes or no answer. Yes, it requires a yes or no answer, but that does not mean the question you just asked me about my daughter is very strange. It's only curiosity. We've always discussed our, our children, haven't we? Yes, we have always discussed our children, but this one I maintain is actually very strange. So? Okay, fine. My daughter is not seeing anyone. Not any that I know. Any that you know of? Come on, oh boy, Yoko. If my daughter is seeing any man, I should know of him. Don't you think so? So we both agree on no? Listen, my daughter is not seeing any man at the moment. Simple. Okay. Yeah. Is that okay? I need to know exactly. Why are you asking this question? Simple. I already answered you before. Curiosity. 
That's all. Was it right or wrong? Could this be out of curiosity, like he said? Could it be? Greetings, Your Majesty. Yeruka, come here. Come here fast. You and I know that you owe me an explanation. So can you start talking and don't force me to extract that information from you? Oh, uh, okay. I... Iruka, I am not pointing any gun at you. So I expect you to speak. How come my daughter is not in the palace and you are here? What is going on? Uh... I just saw you through the security camera, driving in through the back gate. Can you explain to me what is happening? The, pr the princess wanted to take a walk through the villages. She wanted to go alone without anyone. I insisted. Why was I not informed? Iruka, I just asked the question. Why didn't you inform me that the princess wanted to leave this palace alone? She, she, she made me swear, Your Majesty. She made you swear an oath? And you just drove into the palace with a strange car. And my daughter is not in that car. What is going on? Ijeno, the son of Oboyoko, saw us and de decided to ac ac accompany us. They, they made me come back with the car. Is Yenu is with my daughter as we speak? Yes, sir. I see. You may leave now. Thank you. 